When I meet God at the end of my life, I hope I use all the talents that he gave me. That's kind of it. When I walked into the automotive program, I didn't like it. I thought it smelled. But as I explored the program, I found I liked working with my hands and I liked learning something that I didn't know how to do before. At first, um, you know, there were a lot of jokes or are you taking it because guys are there or whatever, you want to get dirty. But what happened was as they saw my work and that I tried to do my best and I was always working hard, that kind of disappeared. My mother never had that opportunity. She only had the choice of homemaking, fashion design, or hairdressing. But that's all the choices they had then. I think I'm a role model for my female students because they see me in a non-traditional occupation. Well, it's hard because most girls don't pick the shop. As a female, people don't think that you could be an automotive technician. The boys always think, oh, girls can't do that. I'll do it. But then when you do actually get to do it, it's like, Oh, they actually did it. But I believe I'm also a role model even for my male students because there's a lot of stereotypes and you know it just shows that you don't have to let something limit to you whether it's your gender or your race, whatever it may be. My method of teaching, lecturing is boring. I lecture but we can only all of us only have so much of an attention span. So we learn something in theory, and then we go apply it in the shop area. When you have something, you take it apart, you put it back together, it runs. That's neat, they love that kind of stuff. I try to understand them, I try to talk one-on-one -on -one with them. I'm hard on them. Two on one side, two on the other. No, down, thank you. Put the wheels on is what we're doing right now. Well, she's always tough on us because she just wants us to do the best that we can do. Her being tough on me pushes me to do better. Whatever I'm doing, it pushes me to be a better person and a better student. She's like one of the nice people in the world, and not a lot of people are like that. They know I'm tough, but they know I care. You can't fool a student. They know whether you care or not. That, that, that's just how it is. And I can't help but care. I mean, somebody cared for me and did it for me. And the reward is passing it on, just like my instructor passed it on to me, I'm passing it on to them, and then hopefully they will pass it on to a future generation. We need students to get out there and grab this knowledge from the technicians and the tradespeople that is going away. These people are retiring, and they have no one to share this information with, and once it's gone, it's gone. I'm worried that when I get a little older and I can't fix my own car, who's going to fix it? We need to support the skilled trades. People don't realize the value until their toilet doesn't flush, their car doesn't start, uh, the lights don't go on, and all of a sudden the skilled trades become suddenly important. We need people that can repair things, service things, build things. We run a licensed repair facility out of our high school uh, production shop where we actually take in customer cars. The students do the work, and we test the car at the end, and it has to come out just like any other repair facility. And it's neat when you graduate high school and you have that experience, you know, and you already have contacts in, in networking. And several of the students have come back and just give me a hug at the end and say, thank you, I have a job. And that's many of them, you know. I define success for my students that they can support themselves and that they become a positive part of their community and that they're happy with what they're doing. They've, they've got to be, feel good about it. I have people still come in and call me up and, and they say to me, they go, oh, you're the automotive instructor? They go, you know how to fix cars? Where the guy next to me, they're not asking him that. Um, and I'm like, yes, I know how to fix cars. <laughs>